Body bags will whore lies. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your thirsty guy for body bags, and this week I am doing one of my favorite childhood horror movies. And you know, you may not call it a horror movie, but I do. Because when I first watched this movie, I remember getting scared. Because, you know, jump scares and whatever, but, you know, I'll watch it now, and I'm like, haha, <laughs> I used to get scared. Um, anyways, it's, uh, this movie right here, The Hole. And it's directed by Joe Dante, you know, the classic director, you know, he did, like, Gremlins 1, 2, The Burbs, Inner Space, Small Soldiers, you know, you get the gist. Um, and, uh... I'm, it's funny, I usually go and talk about the story first, this time I'm actually doing the opposite, starting with the cast and crew, um, or mainly the cast. The cast is really, like, no names in a sense, there's like, there's only like three, there's only like two actors slash actresses that are actually like, you know, in the movie, Could I, well not in it, but like, they either went on to do other stuff, or they were in a lot of stuff beforehand, and this was like a cameo, so... You know, one of the characters, which wasn't like a character, they were just a cameo. Well, I forgot the guy's name. I'll say it below. Um, well, not say it, but like, I'll have it below in the description what the guy's name was. But he was in some uh, cameos, like, maybe not cameo, but he was one of the characters in Gremlins. He was the one that ended up, he was like the farmer guy that ended up getting killed by the tractor. Um, in his house. Yeah, something like that. I forget, but he's like, it was that guy. And he was like a p pizza delivery, delivery guy. And it's, yeah, that scene was funny, you know, he's like, Ooh, you know, kind of thing, whatever. Anyways, um, story goes like this, okay? Story goes like this. There's this family, a mom and two brothers, that move into this house. Mm, what does it say? Uh, I don't know, some suburbs, I guess. Anyways, um... <laughs> They move to, they just move, right? They're like a moving kind of family because of something that happened, because of like something that happened in the past that keeps on kind of happening. And they kind of just move because it's kind of just how they are now. Anyways, point is, they move into this new house and the brothers end up discovering a hole in their basement. And, you know, as the movie goes on, you realize that the hole can see people's fears and then basically just tries to kill people based on what their biggest fear is. So if like if your biggest fear was say clowns or doll clowns or whatever and you looked in the hole, you're gonna see Chucky and Chucky's gonna try to kill you or something like that, right? Pennywise might come after you or something, right? Um So I remember when when I watched this for the first time I was like, Oh my god, so scary ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Right. But uh um, you know, as I grow older, you know, and the more and more I watch, I'm just like, oh, look, there's that jump scene, no, jump, jump scare scene, right? He's like, oh, look at that, right? <laughs> Used to get scared about that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, it's also kind of like one of those movies, and it's not, it's not the kind of movie, but it, it reminds me of the kind of movie that was made by, like, Columbia Pictures, and, uh, yeah, Columbia Pictures and, and like, you know, companies like that from, like, 2005 to, like, 2012 kind of thing or maybe even earlier 2000s where they would make a horror movie that would basically be like a really good idea and then next thing you know the movie's kind of like uh, you know like it could be like the best idea ever but then the movie's kind of like uh, you know it wasn't like the greatest thing ever although you know it wasn't that bad so you know movies like darkness falls or like um boogeyman i think it was or something like that Movies like that, you know, that were made by, like, Columbia Pictures are movies that, you know, were like, oh, that's a really nice idea, but, you know, it's not really, like, the movie itself wasn't like, oh, my God, so crazy, right? Like, it wasn't, like, Endgame, you know, or whatever, but, like, <clears throat> but it wasn't that bad of a movie. Um, it's funny, you know, usually when you look at a horror movie, there's a kill count, and only, like, one person died in the movie. If you want to be technical right with like what this movie's basically saying there's like three people that die in the story but not in the movie right you know before the movie takes place some character some people die and they talk about it in the movie because there's a character that's like biggest like fear was like a guilt or something that like she let her friend die or something like that i don't know anyways um point is it's not like some crazy movie but at the same time it's a fun movie to watch you know maybe like you know 
It could be like, you know, if you're like hanging out with your girlfriend or whatever and you like want to watch a movie that's not really scary, but it's not like, you know, bad. You watch this movie. It's one of those movies. Um, and it also had like an open ended kind of move ending, right? Where it was like, oh, they could make a sequel. And I don't think they did, but, you know, it was always interesting where I was like, oh, make a sequel, make a sequel. And like it never happened. It's like, oh, OK. Could be like Phantasm too, but you know, whatever. You gonna play like that? Okay. I just want a sequel. Anyways. Um. Alright, movie's not that bad. I will give it. I will give it. Hmm. How about this? I will give it. A 7.9. Deal. It's not that bad of a movie, but in the same time, it has the idea that was like, oh, you could have just went places with the idea, but, you know, either because of budget or the company or just bad timing, it didn't really, you know, branch out. Like, you know, you watch Gremlins and it's like, oh, it's such a good movie, right? But it doesn't have that kind of feel. And it's the same director, so I don't know what happened. They just got older and was like, oh, or, you know, whatever. Um, Like... It's the well, it's like one of the only things that I sometimes just hate about movies, where it has a really good idea, right? And when I say idea, I mean like you know the premise of the movie, the like whole like theme of the movie, right? You know, so to say like Michael Myers, the whole idea of that movie was that there's this killer that's like really quiet, he walks around, and then how you build around that, and then you made Halloween, and that's a good movie, you know, like whoa, that's a really nice movie because you know the idea, then what you build around it. Well, this movie, the idea was that there's this hole that could get your fears. And I just feel like he didn't really, that Joe Dante and company didn't really go and just, you know, expound on that idea. It was just saying, you know, they brought some points and it was like, hey, not bad. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it would have been a lot better of a movie if it was rated R. It's rated PG-13. Maybe, that, maybe that's what he was aiming for. I don't think, I could be completely wrong, but I don't think he's made any, like, like, real like horror movies like he he hasn't made like a Lucio, Lucio Fulci kind of movie I could be completely wrong I just don't know and I don't think he has he just made movies like gremlins and and like small soldiers where it's like you know there's like jokes and like you know some horror elements but it's it's not like a full-fledged horror movie right like gremlins is not rated R it's like PG or something like that same thing with small soldiers and I'm just like that's what he was aiming for probably maybe that's why but I'm thinking if like if anyone remade this movie remake it like a literal fortune movie and just expound on the ideas because I, I swear it's like that movie where you just expound and it'll be a great movie anyways 7.9 for me because it's not that bad you watch it with a friend maybe a girlfriend or boyfriend however you are i don't know you sometimes people are weird i'm just kidding but seriously though the whole it's not that bad of a movie you should check it out sometime I'm um, not sure where you could go and watch it but you know if you find it go get it it's pretty funny right mm, not like funny but like you know it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, not like Hunger Games and not like, you know, those movies. But in the same time, it's like, it's like the story's revolving around teens. So you can go and say, it's, oh, it's like it. It's like Stranger Things, right? right? Eh, not really. But, you know, it tries. Anyways, I'm Sam. Thursday guy for body bags. It was the hole that got you right where I am or whatever. Anyways, I'll see you next week. You have a good one. Bye.